I'm studying Master of Science in Environmental Technology at Imperial College London. So why I chose Imperial? First of all, it is no doubt that Imperial College London is the second best world university according to Kia's world ranking. Secondly, Imperial is known for its science, technology, engineering, mathematics, medicine, and business courses. And since I'm interested in delving more into these fields, so that's why I chose Imperial. Apart from all of that, London has been the city in my bucket list that I've always wanted to live in. I wanted to experience the culture, the diversity. I've always seen it in pictures and videos on the internet and I've always seen the beautiful side of it and I've always been curious how it's like to live there. The postgraduate application, the first thing you need to do is document preparation, which involves preparing required documents such as diploma, transcript, and as an international student, if these documents are in your original language, you need to translate into English with an approved translator, which requires times and uh, more effort, right? Another thing is English test result, as well as personal statement. And as for personal statement, it is one of the strongest component in your application. You need to prepare for that, do some proofreading maybe to strengthen your application. And then after the documents are ready, you can submit and there will be application fee. For me, it was £80, um, but you need to check the Imperial website as it might be different for you. After submitting, there's going to be selection process depending on your course. It might involve an interview process. So for me, in my course, it involves interview. So um, I needed to prepare for that as well. And after all of the selection process, you just get to wait for an LOA. On side note, there is one thing that I didn't expect which was document verification so after I get an LOA it was a conditional one and one of the condition was for Imperial to verify the documents such as diploma so I had to send my diploma and transcript by post to Imperial and then Imperial will send it back and so it took time but these academic qualification checks are all done online now through the qualification check service so it should be easier and quicker to apply now you'll get a link to the qualification check service included in your offer conditions and instructions on how to send in evidence of your academic qualifications in your offer letter and my imperial account but other than that those are basically the process for postgraduate the interview was less intimidating than I thought and less questions than I expected actually. And how I prepared for it was I list down all the questions that I thought I might get asked and then I made an excel sheet and prepared my answers for each question. Then I did mock interviews with my friends and family. One tip that I might suggest is practice to prioritize your answers more on how to try to structure your answer by prioritizing more important information rather than the less important ones so you can highlight those you think that might be more relevant or more important than the others. You want to be as efficient as possible. Actually, if you want to know more about what kind of questions that I got during my interview, I made a video on my YouTube channel about this specific topic. So feel free to check out here. Before answering this question, a little disclaimer, my personal experience might be different for everyone. So let's take this as more of a moment of sharing. So my personal experience on application process, I did apply around early April and it was the second round of application. So usually each course had three or four rounds of application, so you might want to check them out because it's different for every course so that I submit my application and then I got my first interview around end of April and then I had to do a second interview around mid-May and then I got my LOA around end of May 
So the whole process took approximately two months from submitting my application to receiving a decision. But for the preparation itself, it's more than that because I started preparing for my IELTS first uh, from August to November and then from November to April I prepared for the other documents such as personal statement. One thing I'd say is the key step is to pay attention for key dates because you don't want to miss any deadlines. Right, so if I can put it in one word, I'd say it would be vibrant because London is so diverse and lively. I love that London has its distinct characteristic for its streets and buildings and as well as people who are very kind. Even sometimes when I'm passing by the streets, I get complimented by random people and it just melts my heart. Another thing is that one of my favorite moments living here so far is that the area that Imperial Campus is in, especially South Kensington, the fact that it's near Hyde Park. One last thing that I like to mention is the fact that it's not hard to adapt in here. So coming from Asia, I always prefer eating Asian foods because it reminds me of home and it's not hard to find Asian cuisines in here. I can just go to Asian restaurants or cook my own food at home. Student communities at Imperial are abundant. There is something for everyone, no matter what your interests are. You can actually set up your own society from the support of the student union if you want. So I'd say check out Imperial College Union website to find out what clubs and societies you could join. The option varies starting from private student halls, private renting from sites like Black Move, Open Rent, or Spare Room. There's also Imperial Silver Park accounts available for life sciences postgrad students. One tip that I suggest is to sort out your priorities. And check out Imperial's website and social media for more information about this. So yeah, that's the end of the Q&A. Good luck and see you next time.